Hello everyone, welcome to SDR part 2, how to set up your SDR software defined radio. Today we're going to plug in our SDR, set up the antenna, and learn how to use the SDR software and set everything up. Now first what you're going to need is you're going to need an antenna. So we're using the SDR kit that came with the SDR, you know, just for simplicity and so you guys can follow along. Uh, beefy antennas will come later on. So first I have this dipole antenna. It's pretty long. It goes uh, like five feet, six feet. Uh, we're also going to be using the, so it has, it's only about a foot, but we're also going to be using the super long six foot extender cable it came with. This cable will allow us to get shortwave radio and FM radio better because this cable, uh, when, when laid out long, it can pick up quite a bit for such a cheap little SDR kit. It's a good, I would say, six to eight feet. Yeah, it's a good six to eight feet. So you want to stretch it out. So first, you want to get your SDR. Make sure your antenna is plugged in, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. You want to plug it into a USB port. Now, you can, on most devices, you can get away with USB 3.0. But on some devices, it doesn't like it. So we're going to be using this 2.0 port. It's connected to this little extender piece that goes all the way to the back of my computer with the only available 2.0 port remaining. We're going to plug this in and now it works. And now we've got to get the antenna to work. So it's pretty simple actually. We're going to get the SDR. We're going to stick it to the window because it comes with a suction cup and a little tripod piece. Uh, we want to put it on the exterior window. You want it on an exterior window. If you have a two-story house and your bedroom so happens to be in the second story, well, that's good. You've got a higher chance of getting more goodies up high, right? Want to make sure it's all the way extended so it looks something like this. This cable right here is not to waste. You want to extend it as much as you can. Uh, put it up against something like this desk chair so it looks. It's like a little telephone wire. So you want it like this, and that will get us way better signal on ham radio, shortwave, and FM, because this cable doubles as an antenna. Now let's go set up SDR Sharp. Okay, hello guys. Now we're on the desktop. Now we're going to install the good stuff. So we're going to download the software-defined radio package. It includes the RTL SDR driver and including some other ones. And this has all the drivers you need, so we're going to download it. It is done. And you're also going to want to download this Net6 framework. Uh, this is 32-bit and the Virtual Studio Code 22. Make sure you restart after you install this. I'm not going to download them because I have them, but you just click on the little links and it should take you there. Now, if you're having issues with this, one thing you could try is Net Framework 32-bit for 5.04. I found that it fixes problems sometimes if you're having them. Make sure you download the Runtime Installer for x86, link in description just in case. Okay, now that we have it installed, we're going to go to the Downloads folder. I have it here. Uh, there it is. We're going to make a new folder. SDR Sharp. And we're going to extract it. It's done. You can just use standard WinZip, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have this, but you can't just open it yet. Now you have to install the special driver software, which is right here. You double click, it's install, it's like a little bat file. It's a kilobyte. It's gonna go fetch the driver folder stuff. It's done. Now, before you can do anything, here comes the hard part, aka the part I have issues with. You're going to want to open up ZigZag, which makes itself when you run that file that we just ran now. And so, see how nothing's showing up? Now, this will happen if you're on USB 3.0. I am on 2.0 and 8 still showing up. You can try to list all devices, and you can try right here. You're, you want to look for Balkan Interface 0. See, there's a green arrow there. Reinstall driver. I'm sure it's not showing up because I already have the driver installed. Make sure you're looking for bulk in interface at zero. Make sure the arrow is green. Uh, you can try one if zero is not there, but it's most likely zero. Yeah, 
It's finished. Now you're ready. So we're going to open the file, and if everything was done correctly, and you tried the backup stuff, you should be able to load SDR Sharp. Okay, loaded, but you're not ready yet. Now, we need to switch this over to RTL SDR USB, and if you're lucky, you should hear something. Bingo, it works. Oh, the gain is way too high. We can just lower the range and the offset a little bit. So yeah, these these just change the look. This is zoom, contrast. Uh, we could try a station. I know, one o five point nine. We could try one o seven three. Oh, we got a station here. Look at that. We got one. It's a little weak. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to open this. We're going to turn on this and this. Uh, I highly recommend you be careful when turning this on because this can happen. Uh, there we go. 107.3. It's like my local station. Uh, this is the little thing. So this is your bandwidth right here. Like how much, how wide it takes. Uh, be careful. The higher you go, there's always complications to doing certain things. For tuner, this is, AK, this is automatic gain control. You can turn this off. And you can set a custom gain. You can see it's live. But we don't want it too high. We don't want to overload the SDR. Uh, this is... Yeah, zero. Zero is pretty good, actually. We can actually hear it. They're talking. The media. Just say, Alexa, ask Magna Media to play WSGY. When you needed your mom, she was... So, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Even though I have zero dB gain, I'm getting the station extremely clear. And that's because I have my antenna on the window, on the exterior wall, all the way out. And I actually have the cord stretched throughout my floor. Therefore, I'm getting a super strong signal. Uh, so you're going to have to go through the SDR and Air, uh, SDR Sharp forms if you want to figure out what all these little doohickeys do. Uh, we're going to be using sh Shift for our next tutorial, which will be to use an up converter. And that'll also tell you. Oh yeah, turn this on. You can get some uh, data from the FM stations. Uh, there's a lot of things you could do. For example, like you can have co-channelers and all sorts of garbage, right? My favorite is the... Where is it? See, and then you can drag this kind of stuff. There's also one for uh, favorites. Like if you want like... Uh, so you can turn this on and have a little bit of reduction of noise if you don't want it sounding so bad. Like if you have static. So he's having trouble getting some data here, so we're going to slightly increase the... There we go, look at that. Now that's the sweet spot. See, look at that. We got data now. So yeah, that's how you use it. Now, if you want to do low... If you want to do shortwave or AM, it's a little tricky. That's just what an up converter is for. But you can't. it can be done. You're going to want to switch this the direct sampling Q branch which will remove the whole option of adjusting that you could just got that right and then you're gonna go all the way down to the medium wave yeah it's not very good but as you can see we picked up a station here yeah a lot of these are blank Yeah, you see, we're not really picking up anything, and that's because, well, simple. This antenna is just too dang small. But, if you are, if you're sneaky enough, you can get AM radio with the wire and the antenna. You just have to have it span as far out as you can in a horizontal, you know, line, not up and down. It likes back and forth better. You can probably do up and down if you want to get some more air. You have it stretched out as much as possible, and if you're lucky, you might be able to get some AM. Shortwave, for sure, you can get, I'm sure of. Actually, let's see if there's any shortwave we can get now, even though it's daytime. That's another problem, it's day. You're not going to get that stuff during the day. Uh, we do got something, it looks like, for the shortwave. Um, possibly? Nope. Yeah, a lot of this is just noise. It's just daytime noise you know you're not gonna find any shortwave or AM during the night well this is a lot of noise yep it's just all noise 
Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to wait until night time and should we feel to get some? This might work. Hey, we got it! So yes, we got some shortwave. Yeah, see, like I said, expand your antenna now and you're gonna get some goodies. So yes, that is how you use an SDR and setting it up with SDR Sharp. I also showed you a little bit of the application. Next, we are going to set up an up converter and use it. So stay tuned for the next episode.